Hi, I'm Kate Furby, and I'm here in Curacao with my friend Kara Simonson. Hi! She studies fish. A lot of science is done with high-tech equipment, but I use the simple method of pencil and paper. <laughs> I go underwater, pick a fish, time it for three and a half minutes, and tally what it's eating and how many times. I study herbivorous fish. They eat marine plants or marine algae. I look at the rate, the speed basically, and how often they eat algae off of the reef. So does that make you a fish dietitian? Sort of. <laughs> I've seen that they overwhelmingly love a certain kind of algae, turf algae. It's like baby algae that grows on everything. But some reefs have more turf algae and more algae than other reefs. I'm looking at whether these fish eat more of it at faster speeds at reefs that have a lot of algae versus reefs that don't have a lot of algae. So why is this research important? So if the fish eat the algae and the algae is taken off, that gives more time and more space for the coral to grow. And when you go out to a reef, you, you want to see these beautiful corals that are living and it gives uh, more diversity of the reef, um, especially for other organisms as well. And so these fish are really important to remove all these plants that are at some of these reefs kind of taking over. For my whole time being here, we've watched over 2,400 fish. 2,400 fish? Yeah, it's a long time. And you do it three and a half minutes each, so? Three and a half minutes each. What is that like? Two hour dive. Six solid days of stalking fish? Pretty much. I mean, I'm a fish stalker. <laughs> they don't notice that you're there? They, they notice that you're there. You kind of keep your distance. There are times when they try to swim away from you or hide from you, which is kind of like a cat and mouse game, <laughs> which actually makes it pretty fun. <laughs> Kara Simonson, what? fish detective. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs>